Interior Church Day. Juan Galvan, 18, Mexican, sits in the front pew of a funeral. His face reading no emotion. He looks up at a picture of Maria Nunez next to a year. Ryan Nunez, 18, sits in the last pew. His bright red clothes an affront to the family dressed in black. His face and arms a mess of scratches. He jerks from side to side. Juan closes his eyes and the screen goes black. Interior party house night. As crowds of people are pressed tightly against the walls and the sound of blaring rap music consumes the inebriated crowd, Juan pushes his way through the drunken crowd. Exterior back of house continues. Juan spots a group of people congregated around a cooler filled with beer. They wave to him. Exterior back of house same. Ryan turns the corner of the house and spots Juan. He, approach, he approaches from behind undetected. Hold on, we've been here an hour now. Don't think you're asking to show up and everything is fine. Juan steps forward and pretends to punch Ryan. Everyone laughs as they wrestle around a bit before they laugh and exchange a custom handshake. Exterior back of house later. Juan stands with Kevin, a tall ginger with glasses. And then I said to him, if you stick that thing near my face again, I'll fucking break it off. Ryan hears this from behind. Two Vatos in red are way pushed against him, but he pushes past them. Hey, I know you like to suck dick, but I didn't know it made you violent. The party laughs, including Wong. Ryan notices something and stops laughing. He walks away from his friends and up to Tyrone Williams, dressed all in red. Ryan and Tyrone exchange a few pleasantries before Tyrone waves him to go inside. Ryan looks back at Wong and follows him. Interior house party later. Juan stumbles on his way down a hallway. He sees a door open with the sound of excited voices echoing out. He continues on with stops when he hears Ryan. Pass that shit this way. Juan laughs and turns. Hey, dude, I thought you... Juan nearly walks into Tyrone. Stop, homie. You get lost? Nah, I know... I know, I know where I'm going. Juan peers over Tyrone's shoulder into the room and sees Ryan laughing. This is somehow comforting to him, and he smirks. He turns to walk away, but looks back. His heart beats rapidly as he sees Ryan hold up a pipe to his mouth and inhales a big hit of meth. Juan attempts to step forward until he sees Tyrone lift his shirt to reveal a gun. Nah, dog, I think you are lost. Now get the fuck out of here. Juan slowly backs away. The thought of what he has seen is just stuck in his head. Interior church day. Juan looks down and then slowly turns his head to look at the at Tyrone in the back pew, right next to Ryan. He looks back and puts his head down. Interior Juan's room day. Posters of movies, sports, and cities around the world are plastered on the walls. Juan gathers his things in his backpack and rushes out. Interior Galvan kitchen day. His father, Jose Galvan, drinks coffee and reads the paper. Juan grabs a piece of toast and runs out the front door. Exterior Ryan's house day. Juan walks through a dirt patch and hops the steps to the door. He opens it and is greeted by Ryan's mother, Maria. Hola. Oh, orale, mira. Ella es muy guapo, ah? Huh? Ah, uh, gracias, Maria. Y tú también es muy bonita ahora. Maria smiles and greets Juan with a hug. <coughs> Ella está aquí. <sighs> Maria lets out a long and deep cough. She struggles to stop it. <coughs> and Juan backs away to give her space. Necesitas agua? She shakes her head, attempts to smile, and points towards the hallway. Interior of Ryan's room day. Ryan and Brandon Cunningham are breaking up meth and dividing it between them. They hear someone approach it and quickly hide the drugs. Juan enters. What's up, you pussy? Hey, where'd you go last night? Juan stops when he sees Brandon. Sup, Juan? Sup? Alright then, dog. Yeah, I'll see you around the way then. Brandon leaves, sarcastically smiling at Juan. Ryan pulls out clothes from his backpack. Most of them are red. He pulls off their tags. Juan looks on. Exterior street day. Ryan and Juan walk down a dirty street. They stop at a red light and look over to a bus stop. 
an assortment of homeless and drug addicts fill their usual morning routines. Fucking crackheads. Shut the fuck up. What, you think we should be so hard for these motherfuckers? No, but some of them can't help the shit they're in. Fuck that. We both know they did that shit to themselves. The light turns and they walk. Anyways, what were you talking about last night, huh? We need to get our ass out of this motherfucker. Nah, man. Nah, this this is home, dog. This is where we belong, you know? Ha. <laughs> yeah, you must be fucked up right now then, huh? Juan laughs and extends his hand. Brian hesitates, then gives Juan their usual custom handshake. Juan sits at his desk. A photo of his family is next to a picture of preteen Juan and Ryan posing on a basketball court. He looks at it and picks up his phone and dials. Interior house party night. Ryan is huddled around a coffee table with Brandon and Tyrone. Others occupy the couch. Nearly all of them are wearing red, including Ryan. Meth is spread over the surface of the coffee table. Ryan pulls out his cell phone. A drunk Juan stares up at him. Sup, Pony? Juan hears all the commotion. His face changes. Hey, uh, wh what are you up to? Just chilling. Oh, that's cool. Hey, well, hey, I just want to want to call and say, you know, I, I think, <laughs> hey, I, I think I'm serious about getting out of the hood. I pipe his head into Ryan. He takes a hit. <sighs> it's all good, man. Hey, man, you know this shit is fucked up, right? We ain't got nothing good if we stay here. This shit is too fucked up. Hey man, don't be coming with all that bullshit. What, you got some better shit to do here? I don't think so. Yeah, well maybe I do. Hey, whatever dog. Hey, I'll hit you up later. Ryan hangs up and looks on for a few moments, lost in his thoughts. Tyrone sits to his right and hands him a pipe. Ryan looks at it for a moment and then grabs it and takes a hit. Ryan goes to take another hit and his phone rings again. Annoyed, he picks it up to see his home. He gives it a dismissive grin and puts it on the table. He takes a hit as a voice message pops on his phone. Interior Juan's room day. Juan sings to himself in Spanish as he puts clothes in a hamper. Jose bursts into the room. Oh, andale, morista en la mercy room. Corle. Exterior hospital day. Juan walks out. His feet are carrying him, but his upper half seems lifeless. Speeding out from behind him is Ryan. His eyes a mess of red. His arms tattered with scratches. He walks to the closest bench and stands. Juan joins him. Oh my god, what the fuck? Tears stream down his face. Juan looks on, breathless. Ryan begins to rock in place. He grinds his teeth. A small droplets of drool begin to form on the sides of his mouth. What the fuck did I do, huh? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Hey, you didn't do anything. Ryan peers over through tears and heavy breath. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I just told him to kill my mom. Juan thinks for a moment, caution with every syllable. Hey, they, they told you there was no chance of survival. You did what you had to. You, you, you stopped her suffering. Ryan closes his eyes and lets out a desperate cry. Juan can only Ryan closes his eyes and lets out a desperate cry. Juan can only watch. Ryan breathes deep. He opens his eyes and stands up. He looks for his phone and dials. So, yeah, yeah, no. I need to pick up some more. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll come by. Juan stands in disbelief. Are you fucking serious? Ryan begins to walk away. Hey, I know you've been smoking that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ryan turns around, walks backwards as he shouts at Juan. Wow, you proud of yourself, detective, huh? You're so fucking smart, huh? Juan's face turns. Don't fucking worry about me. What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Ryan stares at Juan until he disappears around the corner. Ryan! Ryan! Interior Catholic Church Day. Pictures of Maria flash by on the screen over the altar. Ryan rushes in and sits in the back pew. He looks up at the pictures. He cannot sit still. He stands. What the fuck, dog? How am I not going to be in any of these pictures, huh? 
Are you gonna have my mom and not me too, huh? People begin to look back row after row. Those in the front cannot hear because of the music, but Juan knows. He looks back to see Ryan pull out his phone. <sighs> yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I need to get fucked up. Yeah, okay. He hangs up and looks at everyone standing. The fuck are y'all looking at, huh? The crowd is stunned, not knowing how to react. Ryan turns and walks out. Juan looks back and studies a picture of Maria. He stands and walks out as everyone looks on. Exterior Catholic Church Day. The doors of the church burst open. Juan sees Ryan trying to teach Brandon the custom handshake. He walks right up to Ryan, turns him around with one hand, and with the other hand hits him with all of his strength. The hit knocks Ryan on his ass. He looks up, stunned to see Juan. <sighs> now get up, you fucking pussy. Ryan begins exchanging swings with Juan, and they fall over the ground. The man in red and Brandon instinctively begin kicking Juan when they see Ryan is losing. Juan staggers back, raising his fist. He's willing to fight all of them if he has to. Jose and the other funeral attendees run to Juan's side. The gang is outnumbered. Ryan looks on at old friends, his mother's friends, and the priests as they stare back at him. Ryan attempts to muster an insult, but he cannot find the words. He looks once more at Juan. Their eyes meet, but they do not know who the other one is. Ryan turns and walks away from his mother's funeral. Interior Juan's room day. Juan sits on his bed, suitcase next to him. He looks out the window and the sounds of the streets remind him of his decision. Interior Galvan living room day. Jose stands at the, in the kitchen. Juan hugs him. They both share pain and the thought of better days ahead. Interior bus day. Juan looks out the window as it passes through the only city he has ever known. The bus comes to a stop. Juan sees something and his expression changes. Exterior street continues. Ryan stands around with a local riffraff that he mocked weeks before. He's almost unrecognizable. The drugs are quick. Ryan jokes and shares a 40 ounce with his new companions. He looks toward the bus and Juan. Interior bus continues. Juan quickly turns the other way, not to be noticed. Exterior tree, street continues. Ryan does not see him and goes back to his new companions. Interior bus continues. The bus begins to move again. Juan looks for it. An uncertain future ahead of him. Fade to black. I woke up early on my born day, I'm 20 as a blessing, the essence of adolescence.